This is my one year review of this Tudor Black Bay 41. I spent a year with this Tudor watch and in this video I will tell you how it was for me. I can't believe that a year has passed already, it seems like only yesterday I could not decide between two models, 36mm and 41 In this video I will tell you how I like the watch, did I have any problems with them, do I regret buying the 41mm version instead of the more popular 36 variant. And this actually was the first Tudor watch that I bought. It wasn't an easy choice for me. I don't flip watches and I want to buy a watch that I would enjoy for a long period of time. That's why I prefer to try a watch on my wrist before this side. I was struggling quite a bit with my Tudor Black Bay choice. I was pretty sure that I would go with the most praised 36mm model. That's why I was surprised to see the look of the watch on my wrist. Now my wrist is 17cm in diameter, not too big and not too small. I did not like how the Black Bay 36 looked on my wrist. And every time it got me confused. When I went to my ID and tried them in the metal again, I had two variants in front of me, 36mm and 41, both with the black dials. So I was able to compare them side by side on my wrist. The 36mm seemed too small. And that wasn't the only problem. I had two major problems with Black Bay 36. The size and the dial design. I feel that the dial is too cluttered and too busy on the 36mm version. I liked better the 41mm dial design proportions. It was cleaner. So I had the most popular and most hyped 36mm version on one hand and the less popular 41mm version that I liked better. Actually both versions weren't perfect for me. With the 36 being too small and 41 being a little bit larger for my liking. 38 or 39 would be perfection. Eventually I went with 41mm. If you like you can check out the video in the description about my struggling with this watch. The more I wore my 41mm version the more I liked it. I had the chance to try the 36mm variant several times during this past year and I still love my version better. So let's talk about the specification first and then I will talk about the things I like the most about this Tudor. Here are the specifications of this Tudor Black Bay 41. They really have to come up with a different name for this model. This is a stainless steel sport field watch with a simple three hand design. I bought a version on a bracelet. The bracelet is modern oyster style with no fox rivets and regular Tudor clasp. No on fly extension. Screw pin system makes it quite easy to remove or to add link. Together with the bracelet the watch has a very noticeable presence on the wrist. The watch is heavy. The watch has 150 meters of water resistance rating with a screw down crown, which makes it perfect everyday watch. As I said previously, this is a 41 mm version with a thickness of about 12 mm. The movement is Tudor Caliber T600, which is supposedly based on ETA movement. The power reserve is 38 hours. The crystal is flat sapphire. The watch comes with Tudor 5 years warranty. So after a year of wearing this Tudor Black Bay 41, what I love the most? The simplicity of the design. This is incredibly beautiful watch in its simplicity. Black dial, contrast wild markers, minimum writings on the dial, snowflake hour and second hands, oyster style case with mirror polishing and polished bevels. It has closed back case and oyster style satin finished bracelet. I love that glossy black dial, together with stainless steel markers and hands filled with contrast white super luminova loom. I don't think they're made of gold, do you know anything about that? The dial plays beautifully on the light. No fox patina and flat crystal give this watch a modern look and feel. The accuracy is fantastic, it actually runs more accurate than my Black Bay 58 with in-house movement, believe it or not. The only thing is the low power reserve, 38 hours is not much. If you have a several watches in your rotation, they would be stopping often. The variability of the watch. With the bracelet, the watch is a chunky piece of steel. It is heavy, but still wears comfortably on my 17cm wrist. For the smaller wrist, I think it would be too big and it would be better to go with the 36mm version. You can wear this watch for any occasion. Office, traveling, short trips, swimming, 
they can do it all. I tried to wear this watch on different straps, leather, NATO, and I still prefer them on a bracelet. What I dislike about this watch? Well, dislike is probably a bit strong word for it, because I mostly like everything about this watch. Uh, more like a wish for this model. As I said before, 38 or 39mm case size would make them perfect. I'm not too crazy about in-house movements, as long as the movement is reliable, I don't really care if it's in-house or not. But in, in this case, I would prefer them to have a more power reserve, like at least 50 something or 70 would be great. But it is what it is. At the end of the day, if they will be your daily driver, you won't have to worry about power reserve because you will be wearing them often. In the conclusion, I want to say that I am happy that I bought this watch. I do not regret choosing this 41mm model instead of 36. Despite my large collection, this is the watch that I wore the most through the year. And I think this is the best testimony that I have a right wrist companion. And let me know what you think about this Black Bay model. Did you have the same dilemma as me choosing between two sizes? Which one you ended up buying if so? Thank you for watching, if you liked the video give it thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, it really does help the channel. I will see you next time, bye now and take care.